Georgia has gone Republican in the last seven elections, but this is 2020. CBS national correspondent Mark Strassman reports. Make Georgia vote Trump again. That's the president's struggle in a state reliably Republican no more. This Trump stump on Friday pitched black voters. Racial justice begins with Joe Biden's retirement from public life. What the hell do you have to lose? Nothing, Stephen Stalker says. Democrats have never, ever done anything for us uh, as a black uh, people. Some Republican strategists admit to win an election night, the president needs Georgia to wear a MAGA hat. Not this Georgia Tech student. Biden at least appears to be making some effort to unite people. According to our CBS News battleground tracker, Georgia is a toss-up. President Trump just one point ahead. The big issues in a state with a roughly even split among voters in both parties, COVID, the COVID economy, the Supreme Court, and a summer of unrest. We're not Democrats that are burning down cities. For decades here, the late John Lewis thundered about the importance of voting. Turnout is critical for Joe Biden. On the front lines of Atlanta's suburbs and among the 30% of Georgia's registered voters who are black. Joe and Kamala uniquely understand. This Biden campaign ad targets black turnout. But in this Atlanta neighborhood, the motivation to get out to vote may be more about President Trump. We don't have to vote for Biden just because we have to. Why? To get Trump out. Voters are only somewhat confident their votes will be counted correctly, more so Republicans than Democrats. In person, I ain't trusting the mail stuff. A new lawsuit this weekend alleged security issues with voting machines. The third party vendor is trying to fix it. In toss up Georgia, this election's the most unsettled debate since sweet tea versus unsweet in a state where a Democrat for president last won in 1992. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta. Mark Strassman, thank you.